Hi, I'm William Van from Emanuel Lutheran School in St. Charles, Missouri. I'm currently the technology coach as well as a 6th through 8th grade computer science teacher. Uh, I was asked to present here today at UNL Tech Edge on my experiences with the LEGO Mindstorms unit um, as well as STEM education in regards to creating robots. So what happened was I found these Mindstorm units, uh, four boxes of them just sitting in a corner gathering dust, weren't being used, uh, all the batteries were dead, and I thought this would be a great way to work with the kids in computer science. So what ended up happening was um, these Mindstorm units are very outdated. So the first obstacle I ran into was they require 256 um, color or 8-bit color for the screen. Um, as well as a COM port to transfer all of the information over to them. And although that would crash the computers, it was still a very, very valuable learning tool for the kids to start getting into the idea of programming. So what happened was the kids were given a task to create a vehicle, something that kind of looked like this, but also had a mechanism to pick up an aluminum can and then transport that aluminum can into a recycling area. So what they ended up doing was first having a pretest where I was just measuring their creativity, um, what they understood about robotics, and their only goal was to make it move forward. Now, interestingly enough, that's a very hard task for sixth graders. Uh, what happened was they paired off into groups of four, and in those four groups, they paired off with boys and girls, as sixth graders like to do. And funny thing about that is the boys sat there and argued the entire class time trying to figure out what the best design for their robot was going to be, whereas the girls kind of just threw it all together and made it run and ended up completing the task. From there, we looked at uh, structural support as well as programming. We learned about different gears and gear trains. And then after that, they were actually given the task to work and ended up, um, what happened was they were broken into different jobs. So there was a build team of engineers, so two kids had to actually physically build their robot. Two kids had to research different topics such as recycling, um, what recycling looks like in Europe compared to America or the United States. And then uh, the kids also had to write up a guide and then a sales team had to create a sales pitch and sell me their robot. Uh, which was really cool because the kids got into it uh, just creating up with funny names and then all engaging together to work as a team, almost as a business model. So eventually what happened was those kids came together and they built it and the very first time they built it got everything set up, got all their program, it collapsed right in the center. Um, which is good because in that case they were able to learn through their failures, which I think is very important and a very important focus with project-based learning is we learn through our failures. But in the end, they eventually got it to work, and as a sample one goes, um, it ended up going something like that. The final task for them was to actually create this bot that would go forward 10 feet, turn right, go forward five feet, turn left, go forward again, pick up an aluminum can, and then go backwards uh, 12 feet into a designated recycling area. Now, not all the kids were able to complete that. In fact, only one group was able to complete that task. And unfortunately, we just ran out of time. But the kids had a very valuable learning experience of it doesn't necessarily work on the first try, which I thought was great. The main things that I learned with robotics, uh, Lego ro robotics, is um, never, ever, ever hold a kid's robot. It always seems to like break in your hands, kind of like that. And then from there, the most important thing I learned is that you have to stop being the teacher and you have to become the facilitator of their learning. Well, thank you so much. And now I need to pick my robot back up. <laughs>